everyone, Melanie from jarofthread.com and I'm back with another Make It Monday video and today is a bit more different, it's a bit different, we're going digital today. I wanted to make myself a few labels uh, for my project life because if you've been watching my project life video you know that I've been complaining about my lack of labels. So I thought I would make my own ones and it's really not difficult. Uh, I'm using Photoshop CC, uh, which is the one uh, that works like a subscription. Uh, I think it's 10 Australian dollars that we're paying, so that's about 12 New Zealand dollars, and I'm, I'm not sure how, how much it is in the US, but I, I suspect around those lines, 10, 12 dollars. And it's really good. It's the same Photoshop as the one you would buy the standard software. Uh, like CS6, I think they are on at the moment, except that you're only paying $10 and it gets updated every time there's a new update and you don't, you know, you're not stuck with an old version. I'm really pleased that I, and we got uh, this Photoshop. So anyway, I, I'm pretty sure you could use any kind of software that makes... Uh, that has got the same features of, as Photoshop. Um, I can't really think right now, but um, I know that my husband is using PictureMate on his Mac, and um, that's probably something you could use. Anyway, I've created an A4 document because that's the size that my paper is, and I've made a few rectangles with um, a five pixels black stro stroke. And I've created a second one uh, with this one. I made rounded corners. Uh, you can see I'm still on Skype with my mom at this point, so I'm a bit all over the place. <laughs> I was trying to do that while chatting with her. Don't chat as often as we should. And so yeah, this morning we were chatting, which is which was great, even though I had to uh, work on this video. Anyway. Um, so that's why it's a bit random and I'm not doing much at the moment. Uh, so I'm starting over this one. I think I didn't like the the border, the way it looked, so I redid it, or the size. And to make rounded corner, you on your selection, you choose select and I think it's smooth. And you choose, I think this one is 20 pixels. I can't really see uh, on my recording right now. And that's when I decide that I like five pixels border more than the one or two I, I first did. So I'm going to redo the first rectangle. And I think I stopped talking to my mom there, so I'm going to be a bit more focused on what I'm doing. And for this one, I'm going. Uh, I want to make some. Um, how can I say? Like the corners are cut on the diagonal, and I'm going to do it in a very difficult and complicated way by using the polygon tool. Uh, when you press the Alt key on your keyboard, I'm using a, a Windows machine, so it's different on on. A mic, I guess. Um, when you use the Alt key and your um, polygon selection tool, it r it removes from the selection rather than adding or uh, from the to the selection or making a new selection. You see, there's a m minus sign next to my selection tool. That's because I'm holding onto the Alt Alt key, and I'm going to do that very complicated, and then. It's not going to be even corners and stuff. See, I'm I'm really not, and I'm using the mouse as well. I need to find my um. I've got a tablet somewhere. I need to find it and and do that with the tablet. It would be a bit better. But really, you can. That's because I was doing something very silly and very complicated. Um, you're going to see me put a stroke on that and and um in a few seconds. And to add a stroke, you go to Edit, Stroke, and then you choose, you choose, you choose your stroke. That's what I'm doing here. And I really don't like the fact that they all look different, and and this one is a bit weird. So I'm backing up a few steps and redoing. 
So I struggled on that for like five minutes, and it's a bit ridiculous when it should have taken no time at all. And that, yeah, that's when I decide that I really don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use one corner, the one corner I like, and I'm going to duplicate duplicate that. First, I'm going to forget I need to duplicate it twice. Yep. And then I'm going to remember to duplicate it first. And, and then um, I'm going to mirror it uh, horizontally or something like that. And... And then I'm going to uh, merge those two layers that I've created, and I'm going to duplicate it again, and uh, mirror it again. And now using my transform tool, I'm going to join those two um, half labels. And here you go, perfect matching corners on all sides. And now, um, I think in the beginning I did my lines, so I just need to duplicate those. For my lines, I use my brush tool, uh, pencil, one pixel um, width pencil, and then I made that a gray color, so that it's not very obvious. And I'm just duplicating all my labels, and I think I'm going to do four of them, four rows, so that's 12 labels, and it took me 15 minutes to create that. And I'm going to show you how to print it out. So first I'm going to test run to see if I like the look of them. And you can see that I don't have any colored ink. <laughs> and I'm going while it's printing I'm creating an, another document. And I'm going to pause because it's not really interesting. And I'm back. Um, and for this one, I wanted to do some round labels. So I'm using my ellipse um, selection tool, and I'm going to set it to 125 inches uh, height and width, because I've got a one and a half punch, hole punch, or round punch, round punch. So 125, 1.25 inches is perfect, and I will be able to use my punch to cut those labels out. I know I'm having a look to see how it's looking, and then I'm going to create the lines. So you're going to see me create the lines soonish. First, I'm going to duplicate my circles. And I'm going to do two different designs in the end. You'll see that in a sec. Well, in a few minutes. So now I'm going to make my line. And I'm, duplicate, oop, I'm duplicating this one, I think. I oh, know. I needed to make three different lines because it's a circle and I wanted to have the same kind of margin. And because it's not quite right, I'm using my eraser tool to... Uh, to make it like the the there's the same distance between the lines. Does that make sense? And the line and the circle. And I'm going to a layer styles and choosing color color overlay to change the color of my line to a light gray. Because I just need the line so I can write straight, but I don't need them to be black. And now I'm going to merge all those layers and duplicate them and move them down. And I'm leaving a little bit of space uh, on each side. I could have put a fourth uh, circle, uh, you know, on the same line, but I want to make sure I've got enough paper to hold on to when I'm going to punch the... Um, to punch the, those uh, labels out. And here, you can see me trying a, a few different things. Um, that's when you realize that Photoshop is not Illustrator. <laughs> um, there are things you can do in Illustrator that you can't do in Photoshop, and that's what this morning I was really missing uh, Illustrator, uh, which I don't have yet. Maybe later on I will get it, but for now I'm, uh, I'm making do with Photoshop. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I wanted to make like a flower kind of shape, like with scallops circle, and I've couldn't do it very quickly, so I just gave up on this ID. And, but it doesn't matter. 
and now I'm going to uh, create a, a thinner line inside my first label. I'm still trying different things. Maybe I should cut that out of the uh, of the video, but that gives you an idea of what you can do with different features. So all in all, to create those two pages of uh, labels, it took me about an hour, and that's me being very slow this morning. <laughs> it doesn't take any time at all. And once you've got your labels, you can always change colors. I will show you that um, in a few moments. So now that's when I'm going to create my uh, my inside border. Um, I'm I'm being a bit slow on the how I should be doing that. So first, I need to select the inside. That's what I've just done. Finally, realizing I need to select the inside and not just a circle. And now I'm making it smaller. And then I'm going to add a stroke to it of one or two pixels, I think. Uh, I did one and then I didn't like the look of it, so I'm going back and doing two. Here it is. And really, you should try different thickness of borders and stuff like that. It um, the great thing of having of doing them that yourself is that it fits the style that you like and you can create, you know, labels that you really like and that you can use everywhere for everything. It's not just for project life, but if you're into planning and um, planners and stuff, you can use that in your planners and, yeah. So here you go, I'm duplicating this one. And then I'm going to duplicate the inside lines. Oh, first I'm going to add two more. And then I'm going to select the lines because I merge all the... Uh, or maybe I've done that already. Um, now I'm going to print that, see if I like it. It's being a bit slow, my printer. There you go. And And now I'm going to print it. I like what I've done, so I'm going to go into my printer setting and choose, uh, because I'm going to print on cardstock, the first uh, test run I've done on normal copy paper, but then the labels, I want them to be on cardstock, so I'm going into my printer setting and choosing um, a photo paper mat so that it's, um, it take, it's, because cardstock is heavier weight than uh, normal copy paper, I want to be sure that it goes through the machine just fine. So, so the, through the printer just fine. So by choosing, because photo paper is thicker than copy paper, uh, I chose that to make sure that it doesn't jam into the machine. Does that make sense? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. You tell me. And I decided that those ones were actually a bit small, so I'm going to choose my control. Um, I've selected all the layers, and by doing Control T, I can make them a bit wider and a bit taller. And that's also going to make the borders a bit thicker, which is not a bad thing. And then I'm going to print that out. And yep. And off camera, I will go and cut that out, and I will come back in a few moments with... Oh, no, I wanted to show you how you can change colors. So, on the side, you've got color overlays and all of this kind of stuff. And I'm just... Because I haven't... I used to use Photoshop uh, professionally when I was a web designer, but I haven't used it in a long time. Uh, so I wanted to remind me of what everything was doing exactly. So you can ignore that. Um, I'm going to show you how to add, to change the color of your labels in a few seconds after I finish playing. So to change the colors of your labels, rather than doing those weird kind of thing, I'm going to remove them. Still me playing. Yep, yep, yep. And that's something you should do. You should always play with your software and see what you can do. Anyway, back on track. 
you to change the color you're going to go into your layer settings your uh, so at the bottom of Photoshop there's something effects and that's say uh, and one of those is called color overlay and you can choose the color you want so that's the one at the bottom so it's not very visible so I'm going to do that again There you go, and then you can, if you've done done it on one layer and you want to do that on all the layers, you can um, select copy style, then add duplicate or paste on all different layers. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are a few pics for you to have a look at. And I'll see you Wednesday with my next Project Life video. Have a nice week, everyone. Bye-bye.